the Asian seas are witnessing a silent ballet of power between China and India. Both nations field formidable submarine fleets, with the Kilo-class submarine at the heart of this underwater dance. China's Type 636M and India's 877 EKM variants represent the latest iterations of this Soviet-era design. The Kilo-class, designated Project 877, emerged in the 1980s as a potent yet cost-effective submarine. Its diesel-electric propulsion system provided a balance between affordability and operational effectiveness. The fall of the Soviet Union did not diminish the Kilo class's appeal. Its reputation ensured continued production and adoption worldwide. China and India saw the Kilo class as an ideal platform to bolster their underwater capabilities. Both nations have invested heavily in customizing and upgrading their Kilo class submarines, reflecting their strategic priority. As these silent hunters prowl the depths, they remind us of the escalating tensions and high stakes in the race for naval dominance in Asia. The Kilo-class submarines operated by China and India bear the hallmarks of their respective operators' requirements. China's Type 636M, often dubbed the Black Hole, emphasizes stealth and acoustic quieting. The Type 636M boasts a streamlined hull design with anechoic tiles that absorb active sonar signals. The Indian Navy's 877 EKM prioritizes a balance between stealth and firepower, with a larger weapons payload and longer range. This reflects India's need to patrol vast swathes of the Indian Ocean and engage targets at greater distances. Chinese Kilo-class submarines feature advanced automation, reducing crew size and allowing for greater technical specialization. Indian 877 EKMs retain a larger crew complement, indicative of the Indian Navy's preference for human oversight in critical decision-making. These nuanced differences in design philosophy underline the distinct challenges and priorities shaping the evolution of submarine forces in China and India. The variations in design, armament and technological upgrades underscore the unique strategic considerations of each nation. The ocean demands a balance between stealth, speed and endurance. Both the Chinese Type 636M and Indian Kilo 877 EKM rely on diesel-electric propulsion systems. The diesel engines provide surface propulsion and recharge the batteries for underwater operations. The Chinese Type 636M incorporates advanced noise dampening technologies, minimizing vibrations detectable by enemy sonar. The Indian 877 EKM boasts a longer range and endurance, crucial for patrolling vast areas of the Indian Ocean. The Indian Kilo-class submarines can stay submerged for longer periods, limiting the need to surface and risk detection. Both submarines have a submerged speed of around 20 knots, sufficient for underwater maneuvers and evading pursuers. The Chinese Type 636M might prioritize silent running at lower speeds to minimize its acoustic signature. The Indian 877 EKM can utilize higher speeds for shorter bursts when necessary, highlighting their specific operational requirements and strategic priorities. The true measure of a submarine's potency lies in its stealth and the lethality of its armament. Both the Chinese Type 636M and Indian Kilo 877 EKM pack a considerable punch with their torpedo tubes. Both variants are armed with six 533 Enlia torpedo tubes, capable of launching a variety of torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. The Chinese Type 636M is believed to be equipped with the latest generation of wake-homing torpedoes. The Indian Kilo 877 EKM is armed with a mix of Russian-made torpedoes and anti-ship missiles, providing a potent deterrent. The Indian Kilo-class submarines can launch the Club S anti-ship cruise missile, with a range of over 300 kilometers. The Club S provides the Indian Navy with a significant standoff capability, allowing them to engage enemy warships from safer distances. The Chinese Type 636M carries its own indigenous anti-ship missiles, posing a credible threat within their operational envelope. The armament of both submarines underscores the evolving nature of naval warfare in the region, emphasizing long-range anti-ship missiles and power projections. 